Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're listening to the podcast Capturing Magic. I'm Bill Rogers, the voice of Disney. Thanks very much for listening. Hey everyone, welcome to Capturing Magic. I'm Steph from CapturingMagic.me and I am here today with Heather Winfield from HeatherW.com forward slash character. Hi Heather. Hi. Thanks for being here today. I'm excited we're back. I know, me too. It's exciting. And we are also here today with Tanya Hickman, who has a new and exciting thing she's going to tell us about right now. Hi, Tanya. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yes, um, I started since I stopped um, digital scrapbook designing because that was the place that I was always sending people to. I started a new blog called everymagicmoment.com. Oh, fun. And... Um, it's pretty much just stuff I like. I mean, I it's a lot of Disney stuff, but it's some everyday life stuff too. It's all the the Disney moments and the stuff in between. And um, I talk about Disney artists that I like, Disney stuff that I like, regular life stuff that I like. It's just a place to dump some thoughts. So <laughs> fun, <laughs> yeah, fun. Tell us the the address again for that. Everymagicmoment.com. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. I want to be sure and thank our listeners for being here today. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And we are really excited to be sharing everything that's going on in Disney Photo Pass Memory Maker world because there's a ton of it. Mm -hmm. Lots of new changes. I'm excited to talk about it. You ready to jump in? Yes, we are really excited to be back. <laughs> Thank you to everybody that like begged us to come back. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, you're thinking you're you're begging us to come back, and then also Heather's and Tanya's incessant yeah. nagging. Yeah, we, <laughs> we were just ready to do it without you. We were just going to do it ourselves. <laughs> that would have been fine. <laughs> People would have come. Yes. <laughs> And also a new thing that we're going to have on the website with this, with the podcast, instead of just show notes, there will actually be full transcripts on the site. So people oh, wow. can read it if they want, or they can listen to it either way. And if there's something they need to search for quick, it'll be easy to do that in the show notes and the show transcripts. Ha ha. Ooh. Ooh, that's exciting. <laughs> Fancy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so Disneyland is what we're going to talk about today, and they have been rolling out product after product, new thing after new thing, it seems like, since about Je December, January. Yep, lots of new stuff. Yeah, okay, so the first thing we want to talk about is the new iPhone app that they rolled out, I believe it was in December. I was in the parks, actually, when they rolled it out. I was so excited to be there. <laughs> How lucky was that? Yeah. What do you guys, how does it working for you? We've all had at least one trip. Yes. With um, the app. It seems to be working fine. My main issue is I, my, I have Sprint as my carrier and I get the worst service in the parks compared to everybody else. So while I can still check the wait times and make food reservations and do all that stuff, it takes me a lot longer than it does some people. And there'll be times in the park where I don't have service at all. So they need to add Wi-Fi. Yeah. If they want us to use that app. <laughs> That's true. That's a really good point. I mean, I, yeah. yeah, I, I just used it uh, when I was just there a couple of weeks ago. So it had been rolled out for a while because like with the Walt Disney World one, I remember getting on at first and it was not good and it's gotten better. So I don't know if this one was just good when it started because it, it worked pretty well for me. I was able to, you know, I made dining reservations. I canceled them The you know, I, I was able to see the, like you said, the wait time and, or like the fast pass time. That was really nice. The, the character times, though, were not correct. <laughs> so yeah. I had a couple of issues with that. Where I walked all the way from the furthest part of the park. And then, of course, they weren't there. And they're just like, oh, well, you know, they're not here today. That's wrong. <laughs> so. I, I do like that you can see like when the fast pass return time distribution is like that's really nice like I don't want to have to walk all the way to Space Mountain to see that I can't get on it till nine o'clock at night I could just look in the app and see that they're distributing ones for nine o'clock at night so I don't have to walk all the way over there that's nice yeah you know what's really interesting to me is the only thing I used the app for was photo pass <laughs> that's it <laughs> You guys are talking about all this other stuff. I'm like, wow, it does that too? Really? No, don't get me, wow. don't get me wrong. We like, we photo passed it up while we were there, but we, we did actually use it for other stuff. I made dining reservations and I checked fast pass times. I and did do dining like reservations. Go ahead. 
No, we were, we were trying to find like the different shops because when they had like oh, yeah. 80 days and we never heard of the shops, so we yeah, were able to like, look on the shop? map. And, uh, yeah, we were able to look on the maps and everything. Yeah, yeah. I was able to do dining. I did do dining with it. But other than that, I I used it to download photos. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about how it works with PhotoPass. You can scan so you can scan your photo pass barcode with it and then link it up to photo pass that way if you've purchased a photo pass or if you have an annual pass that has photo pass in it and mm-hmm. then you can also download photos so how did it work for you guys doing that did it work um <laughs> well yes. i had a pass and then i had a uh, annual pass it didn't have photo pass on it so i i like looked through it a couple like i after the trip i added a couple of pictures but you know, it has all the watermarks, but I saw it on Tanya, so she can talk okay. more about yeah, it. Yeah, they're all um, they're all on my <laughs> on my app. All of our photos are on my app. Um, they download fine. I can view them fine. That is, if they all show up. Yes, that is my so, that's my beef with the app. And here's a little trick that I figured out. They show up. The photos show up fast when yeah. It's working, but sometimes it'll stall and it'll just sit there and spin and spin and spin and spin. And I thought, well, it's because I'm in Disneyland and everyone yeah. talks about how bad the internet is. No, because it even did that once I left the park mm-hmm. and was on Wi-Fi. Yeah. So yeah, the uh, Disney World one does that too. I know okay. we're not talking about that today, but yeah. The so what I lo- figured out you have to do is log out and log back in, and then it kind of reboots it. Oh, so every single day I had to log out and log back in, and then I never ever even thought about doing that. <laughs> yeah, well, it, thanks, yeah. Heather. <laughs> <laughs> but they, I, I mean, the, the scroll down on the thing and keep scrolling is having to try to reload and reload yes. and finally work. Yes, yes, and that's so I just figured out if I logged out and logged back in, then the photos would show up, and sometimes they were honestly almost instantaneous that they would show yeah. up in the app. We would get photos taken and even to the point that I was able to one time, because I take my little printer around with me to do the thank you cards for cast members. Uh And I was able to, we had some amazing photo pass photographers. I have to tell you that they, wow. I, they really improved things over the last year there. I have to say really a lot with the photographers um, but we had a couple that were really good. And so I made them little thank you cards, but I was able to print, download a photo that they had taken of us into my, onto my phone and print it because they were just that quick. It was instant. Yeah. Yeah. They're, um, my only, I, I like it. I like being able to download the photos. I like being able to view the photos because if a photo doesn't turn out then I can go back and yes. take it. I like when yeah. they're there right away, but because we took so many photos, I felt like trying to navigate through them in the app was a little daunting, like having to scroll and scroll and scroll to find a specific photo and then having to swipe to see the couple photos. And then there were some that didn't show up at all until I actually logged into the computer and they were in the computer, but they oh, never showed up on my app. Yeah. So, and the other thing is if you're an annual pass, you have your pictures from a year. Yeah. Yes. So that's, you know, that really takes a long time. And then when you're, on the computer, it's like, you know, you have all those pictures. So on yeah. one hand, it's great that you get to keep your pictures now for a year, but you know, that can also kind I of slow things down. I yes. kind of wish they like, once you download them, you can have the option to delete them out of the system. What I would like to see is because in order to download them, you do have to select them one by one. You only have the option to select them one by one or select mm-hmm. all. And my last trip alone, we had 430 photos from a three-day trip. And then there's the trip before that still in there and the trip, you know. So there's over a 1,000 photos in there now um, in PhotoPass. I wish we had the option to select a date range Mm -hmm. and download all of those at one time. I'm fine with them all staying in there. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a photo hoarder. That's the one thing. Yeah. I'm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm okay with them staying in there, but I would like to be able to select a date range instead of, because selecting 430 photos one by one takes a really long time. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. But the great thing is when you're in the park and, uh, for example, the meet and greet areas are always 
inside. They're always awful lighting. And so usually the PhotoPass pictures come out well. So you can just quickly have that and then not have to deal with, okay, I need to like edit this a lot before I can post it. So it's great to have that instant feedback now. I mean, that's the thing we had been wanting, remember, for such a long time. And so adding that was, I think was really good. Our very first podcast that we recorded, I think I, that was one of the, my, the things on my wish list, wish list was be able to be able to share socially and download them instantly. And we have that now and I love it. It's awesome. And I love being able for so many reasons. I love being able to share them socially, text them to family that's not with us and uh, do the printing thing. That was super fun. And the cast members were thrilled with those little cards that I made for them with photos that they actually took of us. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about the new animated magic shots at Disneyland. This was added too not too long ago. Super fun. Yeah, I don't think we had a podcast where we talked about the animated magic shots, right? I think Mm -hmm. they added those after. Yeah. Yeah, so they're like all new. But yes. Where let's talk about about where they are. Ooh. (laughs) There's one okay, so there's one in front of the train station at the main entrance at Disneyland and that is the chimney sweeps. Yes. Yes. We got that one. That was exciting because I'm such a Mary Poppins. Yeah, Yeah, that one we weren't actually, we'd totally forgotten about that one. Yeah. I think it showed up. We were like, ah, <laughs> I was like, if I went home and didn't get this one, I would have cried. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that one was exciting. They had the chimney seat from the sensational. So Minnie and Mickey okay. in front of the partner statue. Yes. Do it's super yeah. cute. Yes. That one's really cute. I like how he like inches closer to you. Yeah. <laughs> like Minnie's taking the picture and then yeah. he's kind of like, I have to get in the picture with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So cute. That's so cute. cute. And then there's in, uh, DCA, there's the Newsies. Oh, you mean the one we didn't oh, get? Yeah. No, the, no, the one that we got <laughs> but hasn't shown up yet. We had quite oh, a few photos not show up. Yeah. I'm really sorry. I did, <laughs> I did not have any not show up, but that Newsies animated magic shot was a challenge to get. And I had to ask several different cast members and – a couple of times, cast members told me, oh, no, I nope, we can't do that. And so finally, I went into the store <laughs> and said, hey, I really want a Newsies animated shot. Is there someone that can do it for me? Oh, yeah, any of the photographers can do it. And I said, well, but they're telling me they can't. So they ended up calling a supervisor in <laughs> oh my gosh. to come and do the shot for me. And I was, and they, and they said, you know, check in a couple hours. It should show up in the next couple hours. And I even had a couple of photographers tell me that they did it, but I mm-hmm. checked and it was never added. The magic yeah. part wasn't ever added. And so I did it again because they told me that that's actually the animated ones they can't add after. Like if what? you call them, that's I, what they I've told had, me. Um, um... You, well, I mean, I don't know for Disneyland, but Disney, Disney World, World they've added the animated none, for you. Yeah, none of my uh, last trip. Now I'm going to another podcast, but none of my magic animated magic shots have shown up. So I had to contact them, and they were able to add. They were them able all, to add so. it. Good. That, I hope they can. Just an overlay. Like I don't understand how they yeah. wouldn't be able to add that afterward. Me. Either. Yeah, because we had. This I pro- can add that afterward. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I know how to Give do me that. the like, file. <laughs> I'll yeah, add it myself. I'll do it with all of them. <laughs> Yeah, we had the same experience that you did other than going to a supervisor, <laughs> but I know because like, Tanya yeah, tried to there get was it. a line for a character and I was like, I'm going to go see if I can find somebody to do that shot while she's waiting for the character. And I found a guy and I was like, hey, you, can you, can you do the animated uh, Newsies magic shot? And he was like, um, yeah, okay. Kind of looked around like he wasn't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> And he said, he said, technically, any any photographer that takes a landscape or just Buena Vista Street shot, it should be automatically added to it. That's, that's what he told me. I know. That's so, what they kept telling me, too. Yeah. And I was like, okay. He's like, let's go over to the storyteller statue. I said, okay, we'll do it there. That's fine. So I took the photo, and I was all excited. I was like, great. That was easy. I pulled him over. He did it. It's done. And, of course, it didn't show up. So. <laughs> yeah. And then once I was done with the character, then I – you know, that guy was gone. So I, there was one over by the fountain and I said, can you do the, the shot? And she said, no, I'm not allowed to. You have to find, cause I'm like a, a rover. And so she said, you have to find somebody else. And she went and took all these pictures of me, like all, she went all the way down Buena Vista street, like towards the, the entrance and everything. She was really great. And she, you know, found out I'm from New Jersey. So she said, you know, you came a long way. 
I'm going to do it, but you know, it has to be fast because I can't have like a line form. I said, okay, you know, we'll be fast. And she brought me over to the storyteller statue again. And I saw her changing it, you know, on the yes. pad nice. thing. And so she took it and all the other pictures showed up and no one knows these pictures. And this has been over a week, you know, and we contacted them and we haven't heard anything yet. So oh, no. I feel like they're being stingy with an <laughs> animated magic shot. Like it's, they know people want it. <laughs> I know it's to make it in high demand. That's, yeah. You know, if they make it hard to get, then it'll be in high demand. I mean, that's like my, my that show is my heart. I know it <laughs> is. Show. You love it. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. poor Tanya. Anytime the oh. show, it could be towards the beginning, the end. Like I'm like, I have to stop and watch it. <laughs> so and I'm like, I'll be at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the magic shot. <laughs> yeah, I want the magic. Yeah, it's it's hard to get for some reason, but uh, they're fun. They're so fun, and I love how specific they are to Disneyland. Mm-hmm. It's not just the same ones that they have at Disney World. Yeah. There's, I, I had heard rumors that there was supposed to be a monorail magic shot right inside the entrance of California Adventure. I heard that from a PhotoPass photographer. And, I, and one of them even took our picture like it was supposed to be added when I was there in January. But it never showed up. And then nobody knew what I was talking about this last trip that I was on either. Hmm. So I don't know that there really is. It's elusive. That's the... <laughs> It's the u- unicorn magic shot. Yes, it is. I think <laughs> it is. either that guy was pulling your leg, or it just hasn't happened yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are there any other animated shots that I don't think that we're forgetting that you guys know about in Disneyland? See. Oh well, there was the 60th oh, anniversary. Yeah, one. we can't. They're there. gone. Yeah, that's not there anymore. There but, were tons yeah, with this. Those. There were t- there were because there was an animated one at each spot. I hope that they'll do something to replace those because that was way fun. Well, they didn't yeah. even, on the last day of the 60th, I wanted to try to get them because I had only got one of them. And I think Tanya had only gotten one of them. Yeah. And so we wanted to do it. And there wasn't even photo pass in front of them yeah. on the last day of the 60th. So yeah, they, they'd given up. They split. <laughs> I had a hard time finding photo pass photographers in front of the 60th when I was there um, in August. So Yeah. They kind of I thought it was it. odd that there was a lot of places that normally would have photo pass like the storyteller statue we were talking about i've always seen a photo pass person set up there and this whole trip i never saw one there so it seemed like there was a lot more roaming roving than roving. set yeah. up let's ones. talk about those roving yes. photographers they have a new name and they're called inspired photographers and they will just like heather said they will walk around and do a little mini photo shoot with you and they do lots of creative portrait kind of stuff i love it i love it what did you think of your photos heather oh i loved it because she like i said i started off at the fountain and she was having me kind of lean back into the fountain she was on the other side so you have this whole completely different view than i've ever seen because i've you know, you've taken a billion pictures in front of the, the fountain. So it's nice to have something different. And then she walked me down to where there's a staircase by the near the entrance of the park. And she had me go up the staircase. She was taking pictures from below. Then she was taking it of just my ears kind of showing up, she was taking it of me sitting on the staircase, all those kinds of fun things. And that was definitely a fun thing, because if you're someone like us that goes to the park a lot and also gets a lot of photo pass pictures you know you have the same ones over and over again so to have something different is a really nice thing i totally agree and really makes it a cherished kind of experience and a cherished i mean it totally is an experience and but also you know the memories that you have from those photos i love it we we've done it uh, a few different times in disneyland and around the castle, we had a, an awesome photographer after the girls, when I was there with my friends, the younger girls did the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. And after we were finished with that, we had a photographer. I just asked him if he would take some pictures on the, you know, the side of the castle where there's not going to be people behind them. You know where I'm talking about? The left-hand side mm-hmm. of the castle, yeah. looking at the castle. Yeah. And so he was like, sure. And he came over and he ended up spending quite a bit of time and he did photos on both sides of the castle actually and did some of each of them by themselves some of them together some of us with each of our girls just really he was 
Amazing. I can't say enough. And that seems to be what they're doing. Instead of the mass, everybody that comes through the park has the same exact shot and we're just going to hurry everybody through, they're actually taking the time to do a really good job. I mean, these are like Christmas Christmas card quality photos, I think. Yeah. We also had, uh, when we were taking pictures, I, I did the race, so I, had, I was taking metal pictures, and the one photographer by the partner statue said, oh, do you want me to take a picture of that? And I was just holding up the metal. Like it was, I wasn't in it. And because, you know, they always... You used to have to be in the picture. They couldn't just take a picture of an object, but she told us that now they can. So she was great. She took a picture, like I said, of me holding up the medal. And then we wanted a picture with our bracelets. We had, how long did we try to, to get a good picture like of, of our bracelets with, with a friend of ours? And she went, she took these pictures and they came out really well. Oh, fun. And so that was exciting. She took it like of just our ears. So yeah, even was she, was, she was super excited. She's like, we don't have to have faces in the photos anymore. What do you want me to take photos of? <laughs> like, here's the bracelets, the metal, let's do it all. Like, she was excited. That's, yeah, see, they even did some photos my daughter had. She, we went to Build-A-Bear and she got a, an Elliot, a stuffed oh, Elliot. Yeah. Elliot? Yes. Oh, and she, <laughs> that Elliot went around everywhere with us in Disneyland for two days. <laughs> and so they even did some photos with Elliot and it was just adorable. So. That is so cute. Now I literally want to take like every stuffed animal I own and just so they could take photos of it <laughs> <Yes>. all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so take fun. photos of all my stuff, please. <laughs> so fun. Okay. What about regular new, regular magic shots? What do we have in Disneyland? I'm relying on you for this, Heather. I, hope. I don't think we found any. Yeah, new no, I, no, I, no, were Okay. They, they seem to just keep doing the Tinkerbell and the balloons one. Yeah. Oh my like, gosh. <laughs> over and over those balloon ones. Over and over. I'm I like, like I had the one time I had, you know, all my medals on. For, it was one of those shots. And then they had me do the, the Tinkerbell one. And I'm like, why don't I put the Tinkerbell one when I'm wearing like five medals? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, That's funny. But that balloon one, yeah. They had us doing the thing, you know, where you're like holding on to the other one. Oh, yeah. Like, yes. We got a couple of those. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure they have other ones. And I, I did ask them, though. I was like, oh, do you have any other ones? Well, no, not really. Really? Oh, yes, they do. They, they used do. to. <laughs> I mean, they have, we, have, we have a favorite photo pass photographer, and he's a crazy guy named Eric. <laughs> and we found him on our last day, and we were like, hey, we'll just take us around and take some photos. And he said, okay. He's like, have you done all the magic shots? And he rattled off every one that oh. we have listed on the site. So they do them all. Yeah. Wow. Like he, yeah. He was like, have you done Chip? Have you done Pascal? Have you done the Hitchhiking Ghost? Like he had his name in all of them. Oh my goodness. And we, were like, and we were like, done it, done it, done it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he had them all. He was Aww. able to. I'm kind of we sad because I really wanted to get Pascal. Oh yeah. No, they'll do it. They do it. You just have to bug. Yeah. Cause yeah. I didn't, none of the other ones really were saying it, even if I would ask and they're just like, oh, here's, yeah. here's Tinkerbell, did the balloons. <laughs> Yeah, it it just depends on the photographer. Some of them are more eager to do it, and the other ones just don't want to have to switch over their stuff. So, right, kind of it is what it is. Yeah, exactly. Did you guys notice at all that the equipment looked like it had been upgraded for the photo pass photographers? Did it look like that to you, or did it look uh, like the same old equipment? Well, I mean, yeah, I've I mean I've been to Disney World when I think when they had switched it over to, so I think it looked the same as that to me. Okay. So I didn't really pay too I much attention. Yeah, I didn't really notice. Okay. It looked like it was maybe newish to me. And it seemed like the photo pass photographers maybe were a little less frustrated, but maybe that was just in my <laughs> imagination. We, we definitely got a few that seemed like way more eager than they used to be. Yes. I think maybe because they're given more freedom now. So they're like, let's do it. Yeah. They don't have to just set up on a tripod and take the normal photos. <laughs> they're allowed to go a little out of the box now. So I think they're a little bit more excited about it. Well, I would be if it were my job. Yeah, I would yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> we had um, during um, Paint the Night, you know, and they have the the cards that you yes. hold up. Yes, yes. They were like really into it. They were running down. Who wants to, you know, take the picture? It was also the last night. So maybe they were just like, our no, either <laughs> <laughs> We're done. We're done doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even when I did it a couple of days earlier, it seemed like. 
they were like a lot more into it. And they were doing it even during Sensational, but they didn't have the card, which I was disappointed. Oh, I they need the a Sensational card. card. Yeah. I think they have one, but I didn't see it this whole trip. And so the, but I was still trying to like get them over there, but they never came over. But they, even that, they seem to be like, yeah, I'm going to take pictures of you sitting there waiting. They, Yeah, they could do a card or even like a Polaroid frame with Sensational Parade yeah. on the bottom. That would be cute. Yeah. That would be cute. So cute. All right, the new. Let's talk about this because you guys saw this advertised while you were there at one uh, of the events you went yeah. to. <laughs> the, oh. the new in park <laughs> photo shoot that they're advertising. That's crazy I just, expensive. I can't. <laughs> I just can't. Well, like if you win the lottery, you can. Well, go tell our it. listeners about it. One of you. Well, go ahead. It, um, <laughs> it it's before the park opens, and it's. It, one of them was the Cars Land, so they take you around and take pictures of what I think you can get at any time. Like if you're in Cars Land when it closes, it's pretty empty. So for me, I don't really think it's worth it. And they're also one in Toontown, so <laughs> hmm. I mean, like you know, my my dreams aren't of taking photo pass pictures it's, in Toontown. All, but are all of them before the park opens? None after the park closes. Is it only before the park opens? I think so. Yeah, I, okay. I'm that's saying, my understanding. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how had, do you have the brochure in front of you, Heather? Of course I went to go get it and then I forgot to bring it. Okay. <laughs> so how much was it? Do you remember? Uh, Isn't it like $1,200 uh, $1, or something? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll certainly get it that you can put it in the show notes and everything. Okay. Uh, I can even and scan it. And how long? Like an hour? Yeah, oh. you were there too. I think it was an hour from the yeah, information yeah. that I read online. I think it's an hour. Yeah, That's and they had crazy. at the, the um, AP event, they had the pictures, and they had they had a photo pass person there just to talk to you about it. And so I, I can't it's imagine nice. that they it's people. It, the photos look nice because you don't have anybody in the photo. Yeah. It's your whole family. You can dress up. You can wear what you want to wear. But for twelve hundred dollars, that's just insane. That's like. Maybe five hundred dollars. Yeah, but $500. if you're if you're like, paying for that, I would think you would want like castle pictures. I would. Kind yeah. Of thing. yeah. I, yeah. Want, I would want you yeah, to take no me around the whole to park. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. take me around to everywhere that I want to take photos at for an hour. Give me an hour and let me loose. <laughs> I would. I would at least want a castle shot with nobody in the background because that's the whole reason for me. That would be the motivating factor. So I hope oh, that yeah. they at least do that when they're walking people back to Toontown. Mm-hmm. Well, they didn't. They didn't have pictures of that so you would think they would advertise that if they did it yeah Yeah. that would be definitely so that would be a definite selling it would it would especially for people that don't go a lot like us as somebody if this is their once in a life trip to disneyland they might do it Mm -hmm. i'm a crazy person that might do that (laughs) if it was my one and only trip to because i love photos so much and i would so badly want a castle shot with nobody in the background but if it's just toontown not so much yeah not so much yeah yeah, I think all the times I've been to Disneyland, I have maybe like one picture without anybody behind me. So especially because Toontown's looking a little yeah. shabby nowadays. Like it needs it to be is. repainted. It, yeah. It's a little faded. It's a little faded. It has. That's <laughs> a good way of putting it. I've seen better <laughs> days for sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Okay, so I found the brochures, and the pricing is actually seventeen hundred dollars for each of them. The Cars Land one is actually after closing, so that's a little bit better. The Toontown one, it looks like it actually includes Mickey and Minnie, so that's a a little perk, I guess. They also say that they include one framed set of pictures. I don't know if that's worth $1,700, but at least they give you something else. The other interesting thing is that if you want a CD of the pictures, you have to pay an extra $30, which... Does it make sense? I think if you're paying $1,700, it also says that it doesn't include park admissions. I Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to talk about was the Frozen Experience photo pass, which you guys didn't know about. No. You, or you didn't, yeah. We, we didn't, what is it? We don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so We still don't know. We still don't know. <laughs> the Frozen Experience is they have different levels of, you can go have VIP seating for the Frozen show, basically. I guess that's what it is. But the least expensive level is the one that I did. And, Woo-hoo. <laughs> yeah. And so you go into this, I believe it's studio or stage 27, you know, that area. 
back over there, kind of by the Muppets. Uh-huh. And you, yeah. Back where they used to have, yeah, Olaf doing the meet and greets and stuff like that. So anyway, you can go in there and they have activities and they have a snow cone, like shave ice treats that's hmm. included and popcorn that's included. And then one alcoholic beverage. And since I don't drink alcohol, they went and got me a Diet Coke, which was so nice of them to do that. That is nice. Yeah. And then they also have three different, four different, three or four different photo spots or three different photo spots. And then Olaf, I guess too. And they have photo pass photographers there with backdrops and like the trolls is one. And then the ice castle is another. And then Olaf is there too to do character meets. And then we got a lanyard with, with a little thing on it that said that, you know, we were VIP pass. And then, a collectible pin, an exclusive pin. Oh, and, Heather, you missed out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I believe that that is all. I want to say there was one other treat in there to have, too. And then you could just kind of sit and mingle. We got there. there you're supposed to arrive an hour and a half before the show. We had back-to-back princess stuff. That was our princess day. And we did the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique and then the character breakfast at aerials and then went straight to this and so we were wow, late that's a princessy day. it was princess yeah and that's my kind of day it was fun <laughs> it actually was really fun and so we got there about 30 minutes before the end of the window or something like that which was fine we had it we had enough time to hurry and grab all the photo spots Olaf was leaving right as we walked in to go take a break or something and But we were able to eat our snacks and do everything that we needed to do. And then they walk you over to the Frozen show and you can choose seats in the first few rows. So it worked out great. I was happy not to have to wait in line and not to have to worry about getting seats. Plus we got extra photo bass photos, which I love, and then those extra (laughs) things. And it was $50 a person. They have other levels where you can go eat at Carthay Circle, which I thought was a super interesting matchup. Yeah. For kids? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, for $50, know. what you got for $50 doesn't sound bad. No, I didn't think so at all. I thought, I was like, this actually feels like it's good value for what yeah. I, yeah. Did you say the thing with the trolls and stuff, those were just backdrops or were they magic shots? It was a backdrop. Okay. And then they had, so it was more dimensional. So you could actually stand behind some of the trolls. I'll put uh, some pictures in the in the transcript of the show so that people can see too what it looked like all of those different shots are you feeling bad now heather well we we saw the frozen show so not really okay <laughs> I no, we, the we had issues show. with, it, with the you show. didn't like it we <laughs> um, okay. My, well, show, okay well hold on hold on because <laughs> like, i thought it was my, amazing yeah, my family has been raving about it since it started, and I hadn't had a chance to see it yet, and they've been raving about it. It was so good. They went and saw it, like, the first weekend it opened, and I'm not even joking. Like, they won't shut up about that station. They won't shut up about it. <laughs> okay. And so they have talked it up maybe a bit too much. Oh. So, but to be fair, I went into it, and I was like, it's going to be great. You know, it is what it is. I loved the Aladdin show. The Aladdin show was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I and- heard so many great things about it, so I was excited to see yeah. it. Yeah. Cause- so my couple complaints were it started 15 minutes late. Yeah, ours did too, which 20 is, minutes which or is something. Like, yeah, which seems to be like the going rate right now. It does. 10 minutes in, it stopped. And they had oh. something happen, so they had to postpone the show for like 5 or 10 minutes. Then, and I am well acquainted with um, the actress that was playing Elsa because she used to be in the Mad Tea Party and she sings very well. She did not sing very well on the show and it was it was almost distracting. Mm. And we and Heather both were both kind of like, huh. And even when the show ended, my family was like, that was not as good as the first time we saw it. Interesting. So I, I don't know if it was just a combination of the actors or what. It had happened. a very um, and the technical problems that kind of ruins the. Problem. Sorry. Well, even before that, even before it went off, it was just, it felt like they were just kind of going through the motions of it rather than performing it. And so, you know, like Being they, it. Tanya's family was saying how they didn't seem to have the same chemistry like the ones they had seen. So I don't yeah. know if it was that or what, but. Interesting. 
I went yeah. back after Heather left. I went back with my family again to see it on Friday. And again, it stopped. It started 20 <gasps> minutes late, stopped 10 minutes in, and they canceled the show altogether. Oh, my goodness. Due to a um, technical a, a technical difficulty. Yeah, we could see it. Yeah. Something, a prop, one of the set pieces wouldn't move. Oh. Like it was stuck. So they had to and cancel the whole show. Yeah, the day we saw it, uh, when I was in line for the character later on in the day, I heard the people behind me saying how the show that they were supposed to see, which I think was the second show, had also been canceled. They were sitting there, and I forget how long they said, and then they just said, well, we have to cancel it. So, Wow, I guess I was really lucky. It did start late, like 15, 20 minutes late, but it went all the way through, and it seemed to be without a hitch. I hadn't, I hadn't read anything online about the show. I didn't want to because I wanted to just be able to experience it the first time there. Normally, I read and I, spo- you know, spoiler crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with it, but this time I didn't, and I loved it. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was super magical. All of the special effects and. I loved it. I definitely think it can be amazing. I just think we kind of didn't get a good show yeah. or something. Yeah. I don't know what the deal was. Um, we went to, after it getting canceled on Friday, we went to City Hall just to say something about it. I mean, because it's, it's kept starting late. There's things that kept going wrong. We've now seen it twice. And, like, it didn't go through without a hitch either time. Right. So um, she said almost every day people come in and complain about it. About how late it starts, how long you had to wait in line, about it not getting canceled, about it getting canceled, about something happening and postponing the show. Like, it happens almost daily. Wow. So they're still, I don't know if they're just still working out the kinks or yeah, something probably. changed. Or probably. Probably. Oh, I think it's the when it above. first, it could yeah, be when it really first good. started, though, it, I hadn't heard any complaints. So that's why yeah, it not seems a little the- odd that as it goes on, it seems to have had more issues. So yeah. I don't know. Deal is, but huh, maybe they were cha- they've been changing stuff and it's not working or something. Maybe. So how long did you guys have to wait in line to get seats? Um, well, our fast passes we were able to just walk up and get. Okay. We were able to walk up and get the actual fast passes, but then they well, want we road you. Dropped. So oh, yeah, we did and yeah. And we were like in the line before even the park opened. On on Friday though, when I went, um, we didn't rope drop. We got there at ten. And we were still able to get tickets to the first show, but in the mezzanine. Okay. So we weren't in the orchestra, but at an hour later, there were still tickets available that's, for the that's first that's show. That's but they want you in line um, like 20 to 30 minutes before the show starts. And if you want semi-decent seats, you kind of have to be there a little bit earlier than that. So you're you're wasting – well, not wasting if the show goes through, but if it doesn't go through, <laughs> you're wasting like 45 minutes standing in that line waiting to get gonna in. And you're going to have to do it all again, right? Or did they give you and a pass to come back? No. They don't. Oh. You're, you're out of luck. Like, if you miss it, you're out of luck. And then you have to do it again in order to see it again. That exactly. Would make me grumpy. When we were in that character line and the family behind us was saying that their show got canceled, we felt so bad because the little girl was dressed like Elsa. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so sad. That it, and see, then, the, that's yeah, what I was and, worried and we'll, about because all of our girls were dressed up as Elsa and Anna. We'd done the Bibbidi, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, and I'm like, oh, please don't cancel. Please don't yeah. cancel. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> So, the other uh, thing was that, at least in our show that I found interesting is, because I've, I've seen a lot of these, you know, Frozen shows, you know, like the one they have the Fantasy Fair and the, the sing-along and, you know, all those things, and people are really into it, and it seemed like the audience was not really responding to anything. The only time there was really a response was when Han said, like, oh, if only someone loved you. People were like, ooh. Yeah. ooh. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, nothing else was getting any kind of response, so I don't know if it was... Again, the whole it definitely chemi- didn't get you know. the cheers that like Aladdin used to get. Yeah, I agree. I was really sad for the performance for the performers with how dead the audience was. Even just clapping at the end of a number, mm-hmm. it, yeah. it made me sad for the performers because that's hard, and it's hard to keep your energy level up when that's what you're performing for. Yeah. So. Hopefully, it'll get better. Yes. Yeah. Alrighty, is there anything else that we photo pass wise, memory making, keeping wise that we need to talk about at Disneyland changes? Um, I don't. Oh, I did want to comment just really quickly on remember before like the app came out and they were testing out downloading photos to your phone for like 99 cents or free yes. sometimes. Yes. Um, I did notice on Radio Springs Racers that if you don't have photo pass and you want just the download, they're twelve ninety nine. Wow. Yeah. I was like, what the, like, yeah, twelve ninety nine, not 99 cents, not even four ninety nine like they were for a little bit. They're twelve ninety nine now for the download. That's a at, lot of At money. least on Radiator Springs Racers it is. Yeah. I noticed, speaking of that, I noticed that the 
uh, racer's pitcher is different than it used to be. What? Can you notice that? Yeah, it looks di- it's it it's like a different border or something oh. around it. It looks different. Hmm. To compare, I didn't notice. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to compare too. And the that. other thing was um, Tanya wanted me to remind her to talk about the Tower of Terror. Oh yeah, the Tower of Terror photo <laughs> spot that they just added. What? Oh my gosh! I totally thank you. Yeah, for it was, it was right stuff. after I left. So. Yeah. Well, they started because um, they're getting rid of. Well, they're changing Tower of Terror, I should say. Yes. So on um, with the start of Halloween, it started the final checkout in, um, whole thing that they're doing right now. So in front of the Tower of Terror sign, they have a whole spot set up for photos with um, uh, suitcases and a baggage thing and oh cool it is super cute and i would love to show you photos but mine haven't showed up in the app yet so (laughs) i had to email them about it so hopefully they find them yeah that's really cute yeah it's 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 a really cute little setup and when we got there because we went on the first day the people in front of us were dressed up as bellhops and they were taking the cutest photos and they took a lot of photos the photo pass photographer spent like with each of us like 10 minutes taking a bunch of different photos. That's so. so great. Yeah. That's so great. You know what? We do need to talk about two that I totally forgot about. Thank you. I'm glad that you guys helped me remember the different levels of photo pass that you can buy at Disneyland because that's changed a lot too over the past several months. When they launched the app, they also launched photo pass one day, which is you can just buy photo pass for one day and it's $39, which is a great deal, I guess, if you yeah. <laughs> are only going for one day. <laughs> but when you go for multiple days, that adds up really fast, yeah. which I know most of our listeners, when they go, they're going for multiple days. And we had a lot of people emailing and commenting on social media that they were not happy about it. And I did let my PhotoPass contact know, and I also called and let them know as well. They said that they were taking notes so they did add back in the Disney Photo Pass collection and disc. Look at you making changes. Hey, I like to think <laughs> well, it's because of my influence. I kind of doubt it, but <laughs> yeah. But your your Photo Pass contact is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is. Okay, and then there's the Disney Photo Pass collection. So the Disney Photo Pass collection you get for ninety nine dollars, and that includes digital downloads of your Photo Pass. Photos, the attraction photos, dining photos, uh, yeah, magic shots, run Disney photos, all of that. For the length, for the length of your stay. For the length of your it's stay. For a week. Isn't it a week? I believe it's. Let me look. I think it's. A, I think you're right. I think it is a week. Yes, it is a week. Nobody really stays more than a week anyway. Not <laughs> not at Disneyland usually. Yeah, not at Disneyland. No, except me. Ninety nine dollars. Ninety nine dollars <laughs> isn't bad. You can get your money's worth out of ninety nine dollars. Oh yeah, sure. totally. I mean, I used to pay sixty nine. Yeah, yeah, I prefer sixty nine, but yeah, but, yes. <laughs> but ninety nine is fine too. Yeah, totally. It's way cheaper doable. than the it was. World. Wasn't it always ninety nine? But if you pre ordered it early, it was yes. sixty nine or something. Okay. Yes. So they've just gotten rid of that pre order. Yeah. Option, and then the you can also get the Photo Pass collection plus the disc. Which is the dis- the digital downloads and then also a disc of your photos, I believe is how it works. And that's the difference. It's $119. So $20 then, for disc. Yeah, $120. So, and then if you have an annual pass that includes photo pass, if you have the right level of annual pass that has photo pass photos included, then you just get all your photos for the whole entire year. Yeah. And I was surprised that when, because when we went to Ariel's Grotto, uh, they said, we'll come around your table and explain everything to you. I'm like, okay. So they came around and were trying to sell me on the prints. And I said, hey, (laughs) I have an annual pass. So what do I get with that? Because I don't want the prints, right? Yeah, I know. I don't, I just want the digital downloads. Oh, we'll be right back with your information. And they brought me back these little cards so that I could add that into the app and we got the downloads included because of my annual pass so they it really is included but when they come around to tell, try and sell you on the prints <laughs> let them know that you have you know the photo pass whatever level you have so i'm really that, surprised they even try to sell the prints anymore i know like nobody yeah they're just so overpriced well they must sell them though or they wouldn't yeah that's so true, yeah. that's true. because they actually they're, print them out they, they do them in the yeah. you know, thing and everything the moment, i remember like, yeah, you used to have to buy the picture, and then they had the, the number on the picture, and then you could put that in your photo pass. Yeah. But now, you know, if you have the photo pass, 
I don't know how, pay for. how does it work. I mean, if you said it includes the dining one too. So if you get that week one, your pictures are included with that, right? Right. It does. Yeah, it does. So there's actually, I'm looking on the website right now and I kind of misquoted. So there's photo pass plus one week, which is $69. And it includes all of your photos for one seven day period of your choosing. The Disney Photo Pass collection, which is ninety nine dollars, trying to figure out the difference here. I think it's a longer period, is what it is. The Photo Pass collection. It's that's the problem I think with Disneyland is they offer. It gets confusing the way they offer things, and there's too many different levels. I think a Photo Pass one day and a Photo Pass one week would be perfect, a perfect solution for them. Don't you guys? Yeah. 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 So. Anyway, it's if you go to capturingmagic.me and there's a the complete Disneyland Photo Pass guide, it lays every single thing out for you, how long it's good for, what all is included, even the pixels and DPIs of what the photos are when you download them, all of that good stuff. So you can find it all there. All righty. Okay. Good. Let's yep. thank you girls for being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having us again. Yay! (laughs) And I want to thank our listeners, too, for being here. If you enjoy the show, please be sure to leave us a a review in iTunes. That helps us out a lot. Helps us get seen more in iTunes. So if you like the show, help us out that way by leaving a review. We would really, really appreciate it. And let's remind our listeners one more time where to find you. Tanya? Um, You can find me on all social media Username Tanya H666, and you can check out my blog, everymagicmoment.com. And Heather. On Twitter and Instagram and all of that, I'm Heather W25, and my character my site is I Love Characters at Heatherw.com slash character. Perfect. Thank you so much, and we will see you next time on Capturing Magic. <laughs>